गुरुर् गुरुर्ष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरवे नम तमे माता च पिता बंधुश्च सखा विद्या द्रविण मम दवे सर्व गुरुदेवदेव ओम सर्व मंगल मांगल्ये शिवे सर्वार्थ साधिके शरण्ये त्रयंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द डिवाइन मदर शी अलोन is praise worthy she alone is worthy of all glories not because of the greatness that she possesses because every great thing that she possesses is for us nothing is for her it's whatever she is she is for her creation hence all glories to the divine mother she alone is praiseworthy so narad rishi expounds on bhakti he begins with explaining what is para bhakti he starts off saying now that you have done the needed preparation now that you have a taste of your true self now i will expound bhakti then he goes on to say how bhakti is param prema swarupa param prema roopa that love is unearthly nothing of the worldly or earthly realm can come close to it because that is unearthly that is param prem and that param prem is amrit is amrit swarupa it is immortal ever increasing ever rising higher and higher amrita swarupa cha and then he says yal labdhwa puman siddho bhavati सिद्ध रिसीविंग दिस ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम द डिवाइन मदर पुमान इज अजीव अ पुरुष नॉट जस्ट जेंडर पुरुष इज अ नर अ मनुष्य यल लब्धवा पुमान सिद्धो भवति amruto bhavati tripto bhavati and then he goes on to say other things finally he concludes with atma ramo bhavati so he becomes a siddh he experiences what a siddh experiences without having to wait for the sadhana to reach completion he experiences what a siddh experiences siddho bhavati amruto bhavati 
he becomes so sweet so nectar like from inside amruto bhavati and that nectar fills him up and overflows from such a devotee such that he becomes tripto bhavati he becomes tript santusht completely content this is yal labdhva then he goes on to say yat prapya na vanchati na shochati na ramate na utsahi bhavati yat prapya yal labdhva yat prap irat yat prapya and yat gnyatva these are the three terms he uses yal labdhva the one who has received para bhakti as a grace as a blessing from the divine mother such a person becomes siddha such a person experiences what a siddha experiences such a person becomes filled with amrit nectar of devotion such a person becomes content completely content yat prapya after receiving this yat prapya just there is difference of words they all are pointing towards the same thing yal labdhva yat prapya yat gnyatva yal labdhva is labd is to get when you do something you get something right every action there is a reaction so yal labdhva he is pointing to karma yoga so doing karma yoga yal labdhva what do you get amrito bhavati siddho bhavati tripto bhavati yat prapya is dhyana yoga yat prapya so no matter which path you take bhakti is already there yat prapya na shochati na vanchati na ramate na utsahi bhavati gaining this para bhakti and we talked about how para bhakti is only can only rest on a foundation of firm faith firmer the faith bigger or more immense the divine love the para bhakti so it rests on faith yat prapya na shochati na vanchati na vanchati he doesn't desire any more because he comes to a conclusion remember athato now i will expound bhakti to you that now means this particular devotee has already tried using all his or her efforts in fulfilling all his desires to eventually come to the conclusion that there is no point in having a desire and pursuing it because all desires that my mind can cook up can only come from a very limited perspective the mind operating totally out of memory cannot cook up something that it has never experienced the mind cannot think of divine love because the mind will immediately question what are you talking about loving god that's within you have you seen that god have you touched that god have you ever talked to that god and when the answers the the question and the answer arise in the mind the mind says no i haven't seen i haven't touched i haven't felt it and then it imme- immediately disregards para bhakti or parama prema roopa so yal yat prapya navanchati 
So a devotee who has risen above the desires of the mind with the firm understanding that the mind and its desires that it cooks up really have no meaning. It is just an effort by the mind to stay alive, to stay as a separate entity, to not acknowledge the presence of the its source. That is desires. Desires at the very core is nothing but the thought that was never dropped and was per pursued and propelled. Yat prapya na vanchati. So such a devotee who has gotten parabhakti will not desire anything anymore. Because such a devotee knows what am I to think and desire when my isht can give me manifold more than what I can even fathom to desire. What's the point of desiring? The firm faith that a devotee has on his or her isht is more powerful than any desire. Because such a devotee says, there is no point in desiring, O oh mind, let go of these desires, these petty desires you have. You might think of owning the entire earth because that's something you can see, you can talk about, you can get proofs. You might say, I want to be the king or queen of the entire earth. But what the Divine Mother can give you? Ananta Koti Brahmanda Janani Divya Vigraha Ananta Koti Brahmanda Janani She can She can give you Paramapadvi She can make you the Empress The Emperor of the entire creation And here you are Worrying about being the King or Queen of the Earth Give up O oh mind Give up these petty desires no matter how grand your desire could be that you could cook up, mother can give or your isht can give far, far more than the mind can cook up. Yat prapya na vanchati. There are no more desires left. It's not like the person will start living in poverty will not have any desire, so he will not work. Desires as in, you will just intuitively know. The mind hankers after things that are really unnecessary. But when the mind is full, when we are mindful of our isht in bhakti, when the mind is so full of isht, of our isht, the memories, the remember, the sweet remembrance, the holy names. When the courtship is full on, the mind has no room for petty desires. Eventually all the petty desires drop because it is the desires that create these ripples in the mind that prevent the divinity from within to shine forth. Yat prapya na vanchati na shochati Such a person will not be sad upon any incident that happens in life. Will not will not brood or cry over incidents because he or she has understood experientially that everything that happens in his or her life is governed completely by his or her isht. My mother, my divine mother has the entire fabric of my life in her hands. She is the one taking care of every little incident happening. What is there to cry about? 
what is there to be delighted about everything is just is as per her sweet will shakuli tomari ichha ichha moi tara tumi tomar karma tumi koro ma loke bole kori ami shakuli tomari ichha ichha moi tara tumi tomar karma tumi koro ma loke bole kori ami shakuli tomari ichha that no matter where i end up no matter who i'm talking to no matter what i'm saying no matter what they say to me no matter what happens it's all her will so where is the place for shock for sadness for guilt yat prapya na vanchati na shochati न उत्साही न रमते आसक्ति और अटैचमेंट टू द मेटीरियल थिंग्स टू पीपल आवर डिपेंडेंस ऑन पीपल ऑल ऑफ दिस स्टार्ट्स टू नेचुरली लूज ग्रिप ऑन अस बिकॉज नाउ वी आर अटैच टू द मेन सोर्स द वन हु इज अटैच टू द इष्ट to the presence of the ist within is attached to everyone it's all about the inner journey turning inwards all these expressions of desires utsah raman asakti all of these are expressions of the mind outward the inner expression of the mind is bhakti is devotion is divine love one inner expression and highlights all outer expressions naturally with time the only effort needed is to express within to have faith faith is the greatest of inner expression as we express within with firm faith as life opens moment to moment the outer expressions starts to start to lose grip on us and then yat prapti na vanchati na shochati na ramate न उत्साही देर इज नो मोर अ कंपलसिव नीड टू एक्सप्रेस आउटवर्ड द इनर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फेथ द इनर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लव टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द डिवाइन विद इन इज सो फुलफिलिंग टू द माइंड इट्स सो फुलफिलिंग दैट this constant need to express outside eventually really stops so from being a reactive mind it becomes a responsive mind instead of reacting out of compulsion to express outward it responds from the inner being of sweetness the inner nectar of devotion propels responses outside as life opens moment to moment yat prapti na vanchati na shochati na ramate na utsahi bhavati no more of these attachments bugging the mind because now that we are connected as as swami ji says the one who has found 
an ocean will not depend on small reservoirs of water like a pond or a lake. He has discovered the ocean. Yat prapya na kinchit vanchati na shochati na dveshti na ramate na utsahi bhavati. He says, yat prapya na kinchit, not even a little bit, na kinchit vanchati, not even a petty desire is left. Because the one desire that eats up all other petty desires is the desire to experience divine love. Now that you have that desire, now I will expound bhakti to you. Na kinchitapi vanchati, na shochati, not even a little bit. Na kinchitapi vanchati, na shochati, na dveshti. Dvesh. When you are so filled with amrit, when you are so filled with the nectar of devotion, all of the outside responses of the mind, all of the outward expressions of the mind come from this ocean of nectar of devotion within and they are all sweet. Na dveshti. So this dvesh or hatred, resentment, doesn't arise because now the expression of the mind is is coming from the depths of that ocean of devotion the nectar of devotion because that devotion is amrita swarupa yal labdhva siddho bhavati amrito bhavati trupto bhavati you have become amrit all your expressions, outward expressions are going to be nectar-like. Na dveshti, na ramate, na utsahi bhavati. Yad nyatva, matto bhavati, stabdo bhavati, atmaramo bhavati. Yad nyatva, Jnya is knowledge. Knowing thus, knowing that the presence of the isht is within, knowing that it is the isht within, that is, that is dictating all the events of the life. Knowing the true attachment to the presence of the divine within, Yad Jnatva Now that you know Yad Jnatva Matto Bhavati Mat Mat is a state of ecstasy You are in an eternal high The initial days of falling in love in the earthly plane there is an eternal high you look at the trees you see your beloved you look at the moon you see your beloved no matter what you do you look at your beloved all you see is your beloved matto bhavati but this is parama prema rupa and this parama prem yad gnyatva and this is ultimate knowledge that my divine is within me. My divine is so close, closer than closest, that now my divine is me. I don't even exist anymore. Who am I? I am hers. I am hers. I am hers. Apart from that, there is no more I. She breathes in me. She speaks through me. She performs all the actions through this body. I am hers. I am hers. I am hers. Yad Jnatva Matto Bhavati You are on an eternal high. You still perform all your actions. 
all their worldly affairs are still carried out perfectly nothing changes it's the same people surrounding you it's the same office same people you work with same neighbors same friends but everything seems sweeter sweeter than ever before because now the experience of life the experience the way in which you look at things around you the way in which you look at people around you the way in which you listen to people when they talk to you is all transformed now you know anyone saying anything is your ish speaking to you through the other person anyone looking at you and smiling you know it's your ish residing in their heart smiling at you yad gnyatva matto bhavati then no matter what you do no matter where you go you're always the inside of you is always smiling it's like a warm fuzzy being in love feeling you still talk to people you still do everything yet there is that sweet part of you that's always fragrant that just needs the smallest of provocation the tiniest of provocation to start spilling over the rest of your being so as i was saying even if you're in a huge social gathering busy talking to people socializing and one word shri mata or divine mother or shri hari you hear that one word and that sweet sweet part of you just spills over the rest of you your being and then again you're on an eternal high you want to just give this love out to so many people let everyone experience this you just don't know what to do with this love that's bubbling like a fountain within you matto bhavati stabdho bhavati stabd is a state of astonishment in that love you just don't know what to do where to go it's a very you know like the in the earthly realm we say i'm helplessly in love with you it is true that love makes you so helpless you just don't know what to do how to express this love sometimes you feel like you just want to just fly sometimes you really feel like i could probably just take off matto bhavati stabdho bhavati sometimes you just want to dance in ecstasy sometimes you just want to sing out loud and sometimes you just become absolutely still no thoughts just a gentle smile in that sweet remembrance of your ish stabdho bhavati matto bhavati stabdho bhavati atma ramo bhavati and in that stabdh state you start enjoying the bliss of your inner world which is nothing but an ocean of devotion where the sweet presence of your ishq fills the entire ocean atma ramo bhavati matto bhavati stabdho bhavati atma ramo bhavati saaso ki sargam धड़कन की वीणा शब्दों की गीतांजलि तू मन के डगर में महके जो हरदम ऐसी 
जूहे के कली तो छोटा सफर हो लंबा सफर हो सोने डगर हो या मेला या तो आए दिल हो जाए भीड़ के बीच अकेला हाँ बादल बिजली चंदन पानी जैसा अपना प्यार लेना होगा जन्म हमें कई कई बार इतना मदिर इतना मधुर तेरा मेरा प्यार लेना होगा जन्म हमें कई कई बाई कई बाज्ञावा मतो भवती स्तब्धो भवती आत्मा रामो भवती यदप्राप्य न किंचित वांछति न शोचति न द्वेष्टि न रमते न उत्साही भवति द लिटिल पेटी थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन लाइफ विल नॉट गिव एक्सट्रीम इलेशन Because you have now found that bliss, that extreme elation within. So these outside occurrences will stop to make us feel super happy. Even though the outside incidents may bring upon happiness, you know the reason you are happy is because you see the culprit behind the happening, which is your ishq. it is and then you say it is indeed your grace o divine mother that this is happening it is indeed your grace atma ramo bhavati na utsahi bhavati there is no more it's not like without any utsah there will be just callousness it's not like that it's it's just that you become really very equanimous because the mind the nature of the mind is to be able to express when the mind cannot express it becomes sad and the mind naturally propels expression but the mind that has expressed within so much is so content from the expression that these outside expressions really have no more value no more fun for the mind because now the mind really is attached to inside expression of love na utsahi bhavati such is such is the nectar of devotion it really leaves you helpless when when this nectar of devotion that you hold within rises up like a wave of that rises up you truly don't know what to do whether to dance whether to sing whether to whether to just be in a state of ecstasy you just don't know because it leaves you that helpless prabhu ji tum ghanavan hum mora जी 
तुम घनवन हम मोरा जैसे चित्तवत चंद्र चकोरा प्रभु जी तुम चंदन हम पानी जैसे चित्तवत चंद्र चकोरा देन द चित्त बिकम्स लाइक दट चकोर विच विल डाई आउट ऑफ थर्स्ट बट विल ओनली ओनली हैव दैट रेन ड्रॉप सॉरी द मून लाइट जैसे चित्तवत चंद्र चकोरा and then the chit the inside the the ocean of devotion that you hold within yourself whenever it sees that full moon full moon being the isht then it rises up with it swells up that swelling of the ocean towards the moon is the expression of the mind within is the expression of devotion the nectar of devotion rising up to the brim because of the presence of the moon the full moon that full moon being the divine mother or shri hari or your isht praying to the divine mother that may we all experience this state that may we all experience this the state of the entire inner being becoming that sweet nectar and it rises up upon the slightest provocation upon the slightest of mention of the glories of the isht may we all achieve that state of para bhakti yad gnyatva matto bhavati स्तब्धो भवति आत्मारामो भवति ऑफरिंग दिस प्रेयर एट द फीट ऑफ माय बिलवेड डिवाइन मदर जगन्माता पाहिमा पाहिमा पाहिमा